What's going on, YouTube? This time I'm coming at you here late Friday night. Got some cards I want to show off. Um, wasn't planning on getting anything for a little while yet, but had an itch to scratch, so I went down to uh, the new card shop, like I told you in Moorhead, in uh, my last video, Cardboard Kings. Went through some of their boxes, talked to the owner again, Jeremy. He said he's a great guy, guys. If you want to, if you're in the area, check it out. Um, still, just singles. Mostly for uh, for selling, but should be getting cart uh, boxes soon, hopefully. Um, got some Vikings cards and of course some Twins and a couple other odd cards. Um, went through his Viking or Vi section of Vikings cards he had. Um, Ten cards for a dollar. I actually ended up grabbing twenty right out of the gate without keeping track. Uh, just cards I thought looked cool mostly. Uh, and a '96. Advantage Edge, Jake Reed. Got a, another 96 Advantage, uh, John Randall. Uh, 99 Upper Deck, John Randall. A 1999 Bowman's Best, Chris Carter. You got a 2002. Upper Deck, uh, T3, uh, Triple Threat, uh, Culpepper, Bennett, and Moss. This one is a 97 uh, Select cert or Pinnacle Certified Chris Carter with the foil still on. And got a 2000 Black Diamond Chris Carter. 1999 Topps Gold Label, Chris Carter again. And we got a 1999 Topps Stars insert, Randy Moss. And a 95 Collector's Choice Players Club Parallel, Dwayne Washington. Vaguely remember him. This guy I don't remember at all. Uh, 2009 Topps Glenn Holtz. Apparently had been a Kick returner for the Bengals and hope to be turned into a receiver with the Vikings. I don't think he even made it out of camp. I don't recall the guy at all. Uh, 93 Collector's Edge. Got a Rich Cannon. And a 92 Stadium Club. Member's Choice Anthony Carter. Another 92 Stadium Club, just the regular one. Rich Gannon. Got a 93 Collector's Edge. John Randall. Or not John Randall. Quadri Ismail. A little bit of difference there. Got a 2003 Upper Deck MVP. Derek Alexander. The wide receiver version. I believe we got a defensive end with the same name for a while. Uh, 2003 Fleer Tradition Team Leaders. Uh, Culpepper, Bennett, Moss, and Mo Williams. This is a cool looking one here. 96 Pacific. Um, yeah, Robert Smith. The little mini acetate picture down in the corner there. 90 or 2000. Uh, Randy Moss. Upper deck. And a 92 Stadium Club. Chris Carter. Next uh, offered me a good deal on. Uh, some college Adrian Peterson cards he had. All these are Sage or Aspire. Yeah. Aspire Century Club. Sage hit the right stuff. Insert. Sage hit Playmakers. And Aspire Pro Day. So that's the Vikings cards I got. Um, went through uh, some of the team sets he had there for two bucks. Grabbed an 86 Fleer. Also picked up a couple of rack packs he had of 85 Donruss, or 86 Donruss. And then he had some 61 Topps Twins cards. Um, picked these up. There's a uh, So. 
Yeah, I'll just show what I got out of those, what I needed out of those. Tom Bernanski. Randy Bush. John Butcher. Ron Davis. Then a 92 Fleer League leader, Scott Erickson. Went through his cheapo box again, but that was the only one I found that I knew I needed. Uh, Frank Eufamia. Uh, Pete Filson. Loves a little big on this guy. Mickey Hatcher. 86 Donruss of uh, Ken Turbeck. And Tim Wadner. Out of those Donruss track backs, um, obviously, as you can probably would probably be able to guess, didn't hit too much out of them. Uh, nice little trip down memory lane, though. Uh, from the 61 tops that I bought, got a Harry Lavaghetto. Was the manager of the team when he came when they came over from Washington D.C. I uh, got fired halfway through the first year here. Um, I actually have the 2010 uh, Tops Heritage uh, box topper buyback of this card with the uh, original stamp on it. I believe I got that from John J. Addison, but I could be wrong. Uh, Rick Lysander. Dave Meyer, Mark Salas, Ken Schramm, Roy Smalley, Mike Smithson, Mike Stenhouse, Tim Tuffle. Another 61, Elmer Vallo, Frank Paola, Ron Washington, of course, former manager of the Rangers, back with me on the coaching staff of the A's. Um, actually, you know, I, I love the movie Moneyball, and the guy who plays Ron in that movie has probably the best line in that movie. I don't know if anybody's really seen it. Um, when they go to see Scott Hatterberg about him coming to the A's and they try to convince him to move from catcher to first base and Billy tells him first base isn't that hard, Scott. And then he tells Ron to tell him that. Ron looks at him. It's incredibly hard. And then when uh, Scott questions, you know, Replacing Giambi at first. Yes. Well, what about the fans? And Ron, Ron goes, yeah, maybe I could get one of them. <laughs> Just that delivery of that line. I know I didn't do it justice at all. It's pretty funny. Uh, another 61, Pete Wisenhunt. And then 63, team card. And just a few more cards here. Um... Card's in horrible shape. I doubt it even get a one. Probably just come back non gradable. From seventy two tops, he offered me a buck for it, or he offered it to me for a buck. And I didn't have a vintage card of this guy, so I figured I'd pick one up. Uh, like I said, seventy two tops, Willie Mays. And then he had this card. Uh, say what you will about the guy. I'm sure everybody's got their own opinion. Uh, from 2002 Flair, Power Tools, Game Use Back Card of Barry Bonds. Uh, he was my favorite non-twin back in the day, back in the late 80s, early 90s. Um, so uh, when I saw that he had this card, I figured I'd pick it up. Uh, actually got to see him play live once. Uh, family went out to San Francisco to see... Uh, my uncle, who lived out there, and we went and caught an, a Giants game, and he was playing. So I was really happy. Must have been 95, I think it was. So yeah, guys, um, everybody's got their opinion on the guy. You know, if he did it, if he didn't do it. I still got great childhood memories from watching him play, though. And the last card I picked up from him 
I had a great deal on it. I couldn't pass it up. It's actually one I actually needed for the collection from 1985 Opichi. Not the most valuable, but one of the hardest to find. Kirby Bucket Rookie card. Nice pickup right there. Obviously, the most expensive card of his rookies is uh, his 84 Fleer update. But, yeah, guys, that's it. That's everything I've picked up. Or I, all, I picked those all up today. Um, I plan on, hopefully right now, I'm planning on being at a wrestling show and meet up with Dave or might try to do some trading <laughs> um, if there's time. Uh, then there's a card show next Sunday uh, that I'm going to as well. But where I'm hoping to pick up a few plus, I've got a trade in the works with a guy for that triple auto, triple relic card that I showed off a couple of videos ago. But yeah, guys, um, as of right now, the magic number is 16 for the Twins PC to get to 5,000. But that is everything for tonight. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you soon. Later.